Hi, welcome to this tutorial on finding the points of intersection of two graphs. Now I've kept this to the types where you will get up to two points of intersection. And to find out where you, these points of intersection are, we're going to need to get involved with simultaneous equations. But before we do that, let's just have a look at these graphs individually. I mean, in this one, we've got our parabola intersecting a straight line. And at the moment, as we see it, we've got two points of intersection. So there'll be two solutions to our simultaneous equation. But will that always be the case? Well, the answer is no. Because what can happen is that we could take this line and maybe it doesn't intersect it at two points, but just touches. So what we end up with is one solution or one root. But the line might miss the curve completely, so there'll be no solutions to our equation. When it comes to those simultaneous equations, we'll have no solutions for a case like that. So two solutions, one solution, no solutions. So it's very important when you're working out points of intersection of curves, I would really encourage you to try and sketch the graph so that you can appreciate what's happening. Now with this example, we've got a hyperbola intersecting a line. And as you can see again, if we were solving this simultaneously, we'd have two roots. In fact, it might seem that there are two roots wherever we draw this line. But it's not always going to be the case because it might be the case for this line, but maybe it's a line like this one, where in this situation there'll be no roots, and here one root, or one root there where it just touches the curve, or maybe two roots, or two roots over here, two points in section. So again, hopefully you can see that it's very important that we sketch our graphs to get an appreciation. And what about this last one here? We've got two parabolas. And in its current state, there's two points of intersection. But again, it doesn't have to be. You could have the two curves touching, one root, or not touching, no roots. All right? So what I'm trying to say is that when we solve our simultaneous equations, they're going to reduce to a quadratic equation. And when we're trying to find those roots, then two roots will mean that the graphs intersect, one root, the graphs touch, and no roots, the graphs do not intersect. Now we're going to find that that equation that we get is going to be a quadratic equation when you can have up to two roots. And you may remember that to solve a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then the solution is given by x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And the b squared minus 4ac, which is often called the discriminant, determines how many roots we get. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, the square root of this is a positive number, you get two solutions. So we have two roots. If the graphs touch, that is one root, then b squared minus 4ac equals zero. And finally, if they don't touch, b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, a negative number in the square root. So when you try to square root a negative number, you'd find you'd get an error on your calculator. So, I hope that's given you some idea then of how we can look at the points of intersection of two graphs when we come to solve them simultaneously. Now, I did say that I would run through some examples because that's the only way you're going to get to grips with this. So, I hope you'll have a look at these.